Hello everybody and welcome to your 20th or no, it's my bad, I was right before, your 19th Allegro 5 tutorial. Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to be expanding on what we learned last tutorial. Uh, last tutorial we basically learned how to incorporate sound effects, but now in this tutorial we're going to be learning on how to play uh, real music, like background music and etc, etc. So, um... Just to just a note to all you people out there, MP I tested MP3. MP3 sounds don't work, but if you want an alternative, then AUG files are a good alternative. So what we want to do firstly, and just let me delete this, is uh like before we need to load our sound into a sample. Okay, so we're going to name this sample song. L load sample and my song is intro.org okay so okay so we have in our sample so what we need to do now is we need to create a sample instance okay so we do this by saying allegro underscore sample instance and our instance is going to be song instance and it's gonna be we're going to load in a file into our sound instance. We do ale create uh, sample instance and we put in our sample in there, and that is it. Okay, so notice for my reserve samples, I said that's a two, and I'll just put it above it so all we know. So we're just basically saying how many sounds we're playing simultaneously, okay? So that's what basically uh, reserve samples is. If you guys. Um, didn't remember that from last tutorial okay so now that we got our our, our instance uh, created uh, n now we have to kind of like set up some things for our instance okay so first and foremost uh, for sound for background music normally you're gonna want to repeat it right uh, so what we want to do is we're gonna do L underscore set sample instance play mode and in there we're going to take our song instance and we're going to set our allegro play mode and we're going to set to loop so our our thing so our song loops now uh before we continue notice that we have a pound a pointer to our song instance so we're going to scroll to the bottom again and uh we have to just we have to do l dot destroy we have to destroy the sample we create so song and we need to destroy the sample instance and uh that is song instance okay so we destroy the sample and our sample instance the new sample and sample instance that we created okay so we set the play mode so that it, it repeats okay so what we need to do is we need to attach the sound uh, file this the instance file to the uh, mixer so um i'm not sure if i remember the function but i'll, I'll try uh set sample instance to mixer uh no it is not so i'm going to have to pause this and check what okay so it's uh not set sorry it's al underscore attach underscore sample instance to mixer okay uh so what, what we put in there we put the song instance and for the mixer we put al underscore get underscore default mixer and if you're creating your own mixer then you can put your own mixer in there but uh, we're not going to get in depth on how to do that uh, so we attach that to the mixer so what we need to do is now that we have everything set now we're, we just have to play the instance uh, so before the start timer remember we don't want to put anything bef after the timer we just do al play sample instance and we put in our song instance in there and notice that it's not within the while loop right but since we set that our sample our samples equal it loops right 
uh, it doesn't matter if it's within the while loop or not it's going to still loop right so instead of tr executing it every like 60 times per second or whatever uh, we just put it we put the instance there and it will calculate it and it will play it uh, whenever it's needed so if we were to run this program uh, you will hear the music playing in the background and since we reserved two samples, now we can also hear our sound effect in there too when we move it down. Uh, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.